Muscle protein synthesis has often been connected directly to muscle growth. The higher level of synthesis we have, the more muscle we build. And while it's important, there are other factors that come into play, most notably muscle protein breakdown. Both muscle protein synthesis and breakdown are initiated by exercise. In order for muscle protein synthesis to be greater, it needs the building blocks to repair and build new muscle. These come from the amino acids found in protein. Today's discussion is based on an article by Alan Aragon and Brad Schoenfield, published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, where they look at the current studies and discuss if there are any advantages to timing your protein intake around your workout to kickstart muscle protein synthesis. They also give their thoughts on how much protein we need to achieve maximum results. Does the anabolic window differ between experienced and newer lifters? And do we need to do anything different as an older lifter? One of the things that I found interesting was that the whole theory of the anabolic window, which is that time period right after training where we can use nutrition to optimize our muscle growth, was originally based on training in a fasted state. And this is important because when you start to look at some of these contradictory studies, you find not all of them were done in a fasted state. Now, if you were to train fasted and you didn't eat afterwards, it would take between three and three and a half hours before your muscles would reach a catabolic state where muscle protein breakdown became greater than muscle protein synthesis. So if you train in a fasted state, it makes sense to eat something protein-based as soon as you can after training to get the most out of protein synthesis. For the rest of us who don't train in a fasted state, they have done studies that have shown that it doesn't make any difference whether or not a meal is eaten pre or post workout. Muscle protein synthesis is the same, but we don't have to eat right before a workout to get the benefits. The anabolic effect of a meal can last five to six hours. Although there are some studies that have found increased muscle protein synthesis from a meal only lasting about three hours after eating. So we might want to keep our pre-workout meal within those three hours. Now the recommendation in this article was to keep your pre and post workout meals within three or four hours of each other and stated that a case could be made for those meals being even farther apart, more like five to six hours, which would allow us even more flexibility. I work out right after dinner, so that's my pre-workout meal. Then afterwards I have my final meal, which is usually Greek yogurt and some fruit, typically a banana and an apple. Most of the studies have been done on untrained people, but to get a full picture, more studies need to be done on trained individuals. But based on the information available so far, they found that meal timing mattered less for people new to training, and it didn't make any difference if the meal was consumed right after the workout or six hours later. It did benefit more experienced lifters with their findings supporting having a post-workout meal right after training. They concluded this was because in untrained men, peak muscle protein synthesis doesn't happen immediately after training and it lasts longer. Whereas in trained men, peak protein synthesis occurs shortly after training and it just doesn't last as long. So training experience is a consideration when deciding how you want to plan your meals. It's not the only consideration either. Age also makes a difference. In young men, they found the maximum dose of protein to fully stimulate muscle synthesis to be about 20 grams. But in older men, they found it to be 40 grams. And this is due to the anabolic resistance that we develop as we age. Of course, in and around our workouts isn't the only time we need protein. Watch this video next to find out how much protein we need over 50 to maximize our muscle growth so we can keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.